forgot. Okay, so now we're looking at number 10. So the radius, somebody tell me what the radius is. 9.6. And what's the height? And the height is 30. So now everybody do that on the calculator. Pi times 9.6 squared times 30. Okay, so now, um, is that rounded to three decimal places properly? No, that's eight. Point eight seven five. Yeah. Okay. So again, it really wouldn't be a big deal, and I don't really care. But again, that's pretty much the standard. All right. Thank you. For those of you guys who got that, you can give yourself a little check. All right. If not, you need to double check your work. All right. Uh, Evan, did you tell me? Can you tell me what the volume for eleven is? Um, I got. Thank you, sir. Anybody else have that? Everybody? Because again, 30 times 19 times nine. I don't know why you're saying 27. You see your mistake? Okay. All right. Now, uh, Maya, tell me about 12. What's the volume? Any, anybody else get that? What did you get, Misha? Um, uh, well, come on, tell me. I, it doesn't matter. Well, that's okay. See, that's what I'm saying. That's why you write it down. I, I, I don't care if you're wrong. I care if you don't care. Well, that's the problem. All right? No, no, no. I'm looking at this problem right here. Yeah. It's the base is a triangle. So it's going to be one half, 1.4 times 2.5 times 2. Do you see that or not? OK, now take your calculator. Just multiply it out for me, kiddo. It's not, it's not a problem making a mistake. I don't care. OK, all right. What did you get? Not 4.375? Uh-oh, Maya. Double check that for me, please. Did you do 1 half times 1.4 times 2.5 times 2? And what'd you get now? All right, so it's not a big deal. That's why I'm asking you guys, just because someone says the answer and even two people agree doesn't mean it's right. Anybody have any issue with that? Anybody? All right, now let's talk about this guy. All right, 17. I should get extra credit for somebody who got this right, but I'm not. Anybody want to give me a shot on number 17? What did you get? Trey, good for you, buddy. Can you redo it? Yeah. No, I want the answer. I, I said I'm not doing that. Tell me what the. 4,114 meters cubed. Josh, what did you get? Wow, two people. Hmm. What did you get? How are you guys getting 4,000? How are you guys getting the same obnoxious number, Josh? I don't want you to just tell me what he got. That's not even close. You can't get 4,000. There's decimals in here, 4.5, 2, 1.5. You agree? Anybody else get something different? Come on. I don't, I don't want to put up the answer and then you say, oh, yeah, that's what I got. 43.8, thank you. Did you try? Logan, what did you get? Okay, so that might be possible. Jackson? Wow, okay, all right. Now, remember what we talked about, there are three different volumes here. 
right? So I'm gonna look at this volume first. All right, that's a triangular prism, correct? So everybody should be able to tell me that's one half, little b, little h, capital H. Now, if you don't know, look up here on the board and try to tell me what the base and height of the triangle is. Somebody tell me what's the base and height of the triangle. Tell me. You are awesome. Two and three. Now the hard part. What's the height of the prism? No, 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 no. What's the height of the prism? Tell them, Logan. Two. Right. The height of the prism is this distance from here to here, from here to here. Those are all twos. All right. Well, because the height is not necessarily the one that's going straight up and down, right? The height is the distance between the two bases. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this up here and I'm going to show you because I think this is critical. All right. Now, watch what I'm drawing, please. This right here is, uh oh, not what I was trying to draw from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, and then from here to here. That is called the actual base of the prism. Now, how do I know that's the base of the prism? Because watch what I'm doing. I'm moving this and it's parallel and it's the same as what would be back here. Do you understand what I'm saying now? Yeah, just like on that one shape. Yes, you know what I'm saying, right? That's what I'm telling you. So you want to try to find the distance between them. Now do you understand why this too is the height of the prism? Yes. All right. So now somebody multiply that out and tell me what that is. That's not hard. Come on, guys. Volume equals what? Three. I didn't get three. You didn't get three for the I got six. One half times two times three times two. Do that on your calculator. Can't tell me you did that on your calculator. No, but then you would have gotten the right answer because your calculator doesn't do things wrong. When can you do two times two is four times six is 12 and then half the 12 is six. That's exactly right. You don't even need a calculator for that. So that's six meters cubed. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the other triangle. All right. So now that you didn't, some of you didn't participate in the last one, participate in this one. All right. I'm talking specifically now, come on guys, about this triangle up here. So I need one half, little b, little h, capital H. Now does capital H ever change? No. no. So what's the base and height of that triangle, someone? And you guys are good now. All right. One half. 4.5 times 1.5 times two. Now multiply that out, please. Six point what? 6.75, beautiful. And now what we're doing is we're looking for the volume of the rectangular prism. So what numbers am I using there? 4.5 times two times three. Multiply that out, please. 27. And now what do I do with these three volumes? Thank you. 33, 39.75, who said 39.75? All right, you guys, if you understand that, if you got that right, you pretty much understand this. It's not that difficult. All right, I'm still not sure what happened to 4,114. I was so confused when I said that, I was like- Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, you see it now though, right? The individual pieces, find the volume of the individual shapes and just add them up, all right? Everybody good on that now? Anybody have any questions on this worksheet? What? Um, on the bottom sheet, like if you would put like the, the like triangle, like on the bottom and there's like rectangle shape and on the bottom, and you like made it one, would that be like a, yeah, I know you can't. The reason why you can't put them together is because they're not the same size. Oh, that's like even if like what shape? You could say right. You you. There's several ways you can do it. 
right? You could have said this, which I, I'm in total agreement with you. You could have said this is a trapezoidal prism here and done just two, right? So you can do that, or right, most definitely. All right, so now with that little bit of information, guys, all right, now flip out, and then I want you to go to volumes of pyramids and cones. All right, pull that up, please. All right, come on. And then what I need to do is I just need to tell you what the formula is. All right. And then I did get a little carried away with this worksheet. So um, I'm going to show you how to do a few things. All right, then it's just going to be practice. All right. Here we go. Now, again, because these are pyramids and cones, I just want everybody to put the top. Now, what I was trying to show some of my other kids was this, guys. Please watch what I'm drawing here now. All right, now watch. I'm gonna try to slide that up. Now, if I were to draw this, can everybody see that I'm trying to draw that pyramid inside the box? Does everybody agree with that? Can everybody see that? And this is supposed to be right here on the very top. So how do we calculate the prism is just what? Volume equals base times height, correct? But now look up here, you don't have to do that, just watch though. Look how much sense to me it made when my teacher was showing me this, right? Because again, there's a lot of formulas. So I'm not asking you to memorize a bunch of formulas. What do you think is left? What do you think? What? I like what you said, is that half, all right? Now, if I were to cut this out, look right up here now, see if you can see what I'm saying. If I were to take this right here and I were to cut this piece out right there, what fractional part of the area did I just cut out? One what? A third, right? And then what happens if I come over here now and I decide to cut this out? How much did I just cut out? One third. So altogether, I cut out what? Two thirds. So how much is left? One third, right? And again, I always try to show kids how it's easy for me to do math because I just understand what I'm doing, right? So I'd like everybody to understand the volume of a pyramid is the same as the volume of a prism, except it's what? One third of it. Every single time it's one third. So the volume of a pyramid is one third base times height. This is what you need to put at the top of your paper. That's the formula we're going to be using. All right, one third base times height. So every pyramid is one third of height. That's right. Every pyramid and every cone is one third base times height. That's what I need everybody to do. Now, with that little bit of information here, I'm going to cut that over there. All right, now for number one, I want everybody to put volume equals one third. Now what's the base shape here? Square, so how do I find the area of that? 25 squared. And then what's the height? 10 guys, come on, that's pretty simple. That's pretty simple. Josh, do you see that? Maya, you okay with that? So now everybody just type it on your calculator. One divided by three times 25 squared times 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yep. And then we're going to say units cubed. Units cubed. All right. So that was good work. That's all there is to it. 
That is all there is to it. Yes, ma'am. Well, because remember, to find the area of a square, it's the side squared. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, they're always cubes. Yeah, I know, but do I have to draw like a cube? Now? No, 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 we don't have to draw that ever. Okay, yeah. Now that you understand it, it's simple, yeah, I right? So now I'm on number two, volume. I want everybody to put down volume equals one third base times height. But what is the base, guys? Oh, it's, a it's a circle. So what's the formula for a circle? Good, some of you guys are actually figuring this stuff out now. So it's one third times pi times r squared times h. Again, I don't think that's hard. If you know the area of a circle, you should know the volume of a cone. All right. Now I want everybody to write down one third pi. What's the radius? 11. 11 squared. What's the height? So 21. So now everybody on your calculator. When we're doing the shapes, is it always cubes? Yes, because volume is cubes. So just like on the other worksheet. Yep. Nine what? Nine two nine. All right, I'm okay with that. And even if it if you're off a little bit, I wouldn't even care. Volume. Does anybody else get two thousand six hundred sixty point nine two nine? All right, units cubed. All right, again, I I just don't think that's that hard. Yeah. Why is cubed? Because it's three dimensions. There's a length, a width, and a height. So listen, something is two dimensions because you're measuring two units, a length and a width. Length is one dimension. Like how tall are you? You don't say I'm square feet or I'm cubic feet. You say I'm measure one length. Area is measuring two lengths, this way and this way. Volume is three. Length, width, and a what? Height, all right? So most things, when you're measuring volume, how much space, it's three dimensions. All right, so now everybody, number three, V equals, write it down, one third base times height. What's the base shape? A rectangle. So one third, what dimensions am I using? So what dimensions? 32 times 14, what's the height? 60. Uh, so now my volume is what? Wow, 8,960 units cubed. Does anybody agree with that? Misha, you said you did, right? Jackson, how you doing? Anybody else? Evan, you good? That's not hard. All right. Now, what I want everybody to do is, I want everybody to highlight number four, highlight number five, highlight number six. All right. Now, what do you think is different between seven, eight, nine, and the problems one, two, three, four, five, six? There's just no picture. There's no picture. That's it. All right. That's all there is to it. But I like seven because you're going to do that for homework and eight for homework. And now we're going to talk about number nine. I need everybody to put a star by number nine. Number nine is the one that's different. Somebody tell me why it's different. Why? What? It gives you the area of the what already? Yeah, we don't even have to calculate it. So I want everybody to highlight that base area. Hold on. Base area is 15. Highlight that. Yes, 15 meters squared. So what's the formula for a pyramid? Volume equals one third area of the base times the height. So V equals one third. What is the base area? 15. Do I have to calculate the base area? No, it's already given. So it's one third times 15. What's the height? 20. 
So now everybody's got to do that. Volume is what? 100 what? Meters cubed. Very good. 100 meters cubed. Anybody have any issues with that? Anybody? Yes. Yeah, because you're asking, whenever they're asking you about volume, it's going to be cubes. If they ask about area, it's squares. And length is uh, to the first power. Or you just say inches or feet or miles. On our test, would there be like both like Well, you're going to find out soon enough. I'm going to show you. Okay. Now, um, I need everybody to highlight 10, 11, 12. That's part of the homework. Yeah, oh, everything's homework. I'm going to tell you. Now, I got two ambitious guys. So listen, I need everybody to do me a favor. I, I'm not going to hold you responsible for 13 through 15. All right. So again, I, 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 I just am not interested in that right now. Yeah. So 13 through 15, you can say omit. If you want, you can take your white out and you can just white them out if you want. I'm totally fine with that. All right, to remind yourself, you don't have to do that. All right. The reason why is just because it, it requires a little bit more algebra. And I'm not interested in doing the algebra right now. That's starting in two weeks or a week and a half. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to spend time on 16. All right. So here we go. Let me have, um, no, Josh, tell me about 16. How do I do this? Right, so how do, what's the formula? You're awesome, thank you, sir. Very good. All right, tell me what the radius is and what the height is and then All right, now type that in the calculator, please. You may else get that? And then M I cubed. Yes. What's the matter, Misha? Now, if you have 322 or 320, I don't care about the rounding. I'm okay with that. They wouldn't. I don't mark points off for rounding like that. You should know how to round. Okay. Now, number 17 is tricky now. All right. Let's hear it. V equals, what's the formula? Yep, I'm ready. One third. What's the base shape? What's the base shape? Circle, rectangle, triangle. So what's the formula for area of a triangle? I'm asking you, yes, one half. What's the base? What's the formula for area? And then what's the last letter? Capital what? Yes. All right. So that was really important. So again, I prefer that everybody write down volume equals one third capital B capital H. I'm listening. I know that's what I'm saying. That's what we're going to try to figure out right now. All right. So I want everybody to write down volume equals what's the first number that goes down? One third times what? Okay, now I want, uh, Trey, I really want you to try to tell me what the base and height is of the triangle. And I'm going to highlight it right here. Yeah. 
Well, which one? You said them all. You said three, four, and five. I need okay. two out of the three. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be three. And what else? And four. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I'm trying to show you guys. Let's please blow this up. And I want everybody to take this right here. Take this moment to see this right angle right there. It is pointing to the two numbers that you're supposed to be using. Is the five being pointed to? No, five is nothing. Cross that out. Five is nothing. So I want... What two numbers am I using now? Times three times four. What's the height of the prism or the pyramid? Four. four. All right, knock that out, somebody. How much? Eight. M I cubed. All right, now everybody's got to look at that real quick and tell me why I didn't use five. Yeah, it's not part of the right angle. It's the hypotenuse, all right, of the right triangle, all right? Anybody have any issues? Tell me. No, no, because you can't do that. That's later in geometry. You can, I can teach you how to find the angle, the missing sides. But right now they're gonna to have to tell you, okay? All right, here we go, flip. All right, so Evan, let me hear 18. Is that it? What number's in front of the base? One third. Hold on one second. What? Wouldn't it be like one half times 11 squared times 12 plus the extra H? No, just follow along. Evan, what do I do? Come on, you don't have to find it. Go to this problem so I can talk to you. You with me? We're on number 18. Just go to 18. Okay. All right, so what is the base shape? The base shape is 11 squared. That's exactly correct. And then what's the height? The height is There you go, man. That's it. That's all there is. Well, you said one half. No. Okay. All right, so tell me what the final volume is, Evan. That's not what I got. I got 484. Come on, Evan. One third times 11 squared times 12. Well, it wasn't mine. You got it now? Yes, good. All right, Jackson, 19, I'm listening. One third times five times, well, isn't it five squared? Is that a square base? Yeah. What? It's a rectangle. It's a rectangle. Okay, so what, what am I using? One third times? Yeah, so what's base and height? Don't tell him. I like this is five. Where are you? Shh. Where's the other five at? The height of the I'm not doing the height of the prism. I'm the height of the base. Thank you. So it's one third. Now tell me. One third times. I didn't hear you. One third times. And then what? Yes, there you go. Thank you. All right, so now I'm listening. Just do one divided by three. 
times five times two times five. A fraction is just division. One divided by three times five times five times two. Say it again. Yeah, so it would just be this, right? And then this would be inches cubed. You okay with that, Jax? That's not what I got. I got 16. Oh, I got 16. Wait a minute. Yeah, if you said, I'm happy with that, 0.6 repeated, everybody should know is two thirds anyway. Either way, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I told you guys. The answer is the answer. Volume 16 and two thirds cubic inches are 16.666, depending on what type of calculator you have. All right. Anybody have any issues with that? All right. What time's the bell ring? Okay. So listen, we're going to stop right there. But your job is to finish one through 19, except for those three that I didn't make you do. And look, you got time right now. You can just easily finish up. My objective is try to get you out here with a little homework. All right, sit and finish the homework. And then before class tomorrow, I'm going to call you up to my desk and check these two days and make sure all the work is done. Yes. Let me see your hand. Oh my gosh, it's like totally, wow. Keep the medicine. Can I see? Keep the medicine. Do you want to leave off the wrap Yes. All right. The end. What's that, kiddo?